So my preferred way of doing testing is to do speech testing first with my adult patients as well as my uh, kid patients. The reason being is that for children, it's pretty easy for them to be able to repeat some words and usually it's a pretty fun task for them to do. And it's a really good way of getting an idea of what you're going to get for your pure tone average. And for adult patients, I also like to start with speech because if I do have a patient that I'm worried about as far as like malingering, it's a good way again to be able to have a guideline because it is more difficult to be able to tell how loud a speech signal is versus a tone signal. And so I will start with speech, then I will do air conduction, um, tone audiometry, and then I will do my bone testing last.